How's it going guys? I trust you all are having a wonderful day. The latest patch has been released just 2 hours ago. It's patch 1.10.7.0 which is basically the update 5. There are two things that you need to do. First before anything go ahead and exit the application and try to reopen the application which is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once you try to open it, it takes you to the Microsoft Store where you need to install a 955.8 MB patch. So once you install that little patch on the Microsoft Store, you can either reopen the application or click on the play button right next to the Microsoft Flight Simulator application. So once you're in the application, the system would give you access to install the 7.47 GB patch. So this is going to take some time. Ideally, an Ethernet cable is always essential for you so that you can install it quickly. Otherwise, it's going to take a little time. It looks like based on what the developers have mentioned that few packages in the community folder would be updated as a result. So if you've had any kind of issues under stability or any loading time issues, make sure that you move the community packages to another folder before relaunching this title. So keep this in mind guys, only for folks who have stability issues under the application or long loading times. Otherwise, it's pretty much a straightforward update which shouldn't really take much of an effort except those two steps of the Microsoft Store update with the 955 MB update as well as the 7.4 GB update. So along with this update 5, there have been several areas that have been touched. We were expecting this update 5 to be released a few days ago, but that's fine. Asobo Studios do take some time to go ahead and make sure that every part of this code has been fixed. To give you a high level of the patch notes, several areas have been touched that include planes, user interface, weather, installation manager, input, activity, marketplace, as well as common issues. So these have all been taken care of on the highest level. So under this update 5, we're going to expect to see many improvements under planes, autopilot issues specifically focused on the Cessna 208 BG Grand Caravan or the Cessna Citation Longitude and the Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental as well as the TBM 930. So these four planes are going to expect to see improvements under the autopilot aspect of it. There have been fixes towards aircraft avionics screens going blank. Cessna 152 floodlights had an issue where it used to always turn on during tutorials. That's been taken care of. The Cyrus SR-22 windshield de-icing would not work and that has been fixed. The control surfaces aspect have been revised for few planes that include the TBM 930, Cessna 152, as well as the Cessna 172. Under the user interface aspect, we're not going to see the press any key to start the screen anymore. There's another option that's been added to the MISC menu to switch menu between metric units as well as the US units. Performances have certainly been improved in the plane section menu as well as the marketplace. We're going to expect to see much more smoothness throughout the application, which includes many areas of the application that include the menu screen, marketplace, etc. There used to be data refresh issues under the weather systems that's been taken care. The installation manager has also resolved many installation issues. In regards to the section which is input, which is basically hardware based, we're going to expect to see an identification from third party products like Thrustmaster, TCA Quadrant, Airbus Edition. Initially it used to give problems, but now it's been fixed. Under other updates of the application, we're going to expect to see motion blur that has been added as well as night lighting which has been improved along with water night reflections that's been added. There's been a lot of new updates towards this section of the world as well as common areas. Common issues like autopilot disconnection when the user tries to engage this after takeoff or even the Cessna citation longitude that actually had few problems during the glide slope. And not to forget the A320neo had some issues when you try to switch the units between. Overall, this certainly looks like a priority list that have been taken care of. Hopefully, we should see all these issues that have been resolved. And if in case there are any issues, you can always leave a feedback on different types of topics. You can find the link to this in the description below. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to expect to see many more fixes along the way. This is just a new product that's been released on the 17th of August. It actually feels that Microsoft Flight Simulator was planning to introduce this platform during the fall of this year. And due to so much of interest that's been received all over the world, they basically released it sooner. And that's why we're seeing so many issues and hopefully 
uh, they should be resolved over time. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video guys. Do subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We're gonna expect to see many more updates, add-ons, etc. for this beautiful platform. Have a good rest of the day and stay tuned.